Welcome to the channel guys, this is Slight. Today we're going to be test riding the Lowrider ST. Uh, it's a 2022 Lowrider ST. This one is the Gunstep Gray. Oh my god, did you nip Yep. Oh sh I've been calling you fucking... Yeah, I said yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. You just smacked me in the head, man. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so basically uh, the difference between this one and the other, you have your fairings, you have your bags, um, and then the cluster itself is a little different on this one. So, yeah, it's a little heavier. Turn that on, and then that is to start it. Alright, and you have your neutral, so the neutral does tell you, it's neutral there. Okay, so I am 5'6", uh, I can tippy toe on this, but uh, in most cases, I, I don't normally ride with both feet, I only ride with one, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, the clutch is actually pretty good, so again, it's pretty generic for Harley. This is for your selection in here, so that'll do a bunch of things. You have your horn, your lights, left signal, cruise control, four ways, uh, kill switch, engines, and that's your right hand signal. I'll eventually get used to this, but <laughs> this is a much better position, in my opinion, than the Heritage. It's a little bit more comfortable to me. So I do like uh, the wrinkle finish on this. It is pretty nice. The fairing is actually, you know what, I wasn't sold on it. I like the fact that the gauges are not down at the bottom. To be it honest, I like the look of the gauges on the tank, but as far as function, it makes more sense. So this has dual discs in the front, so the, the brakes will bite a little bit heavier. The mirrors do tell, or cover your shoulders, like they, are, they wish they came out a little bit further. But if you ended up doing something with this, I would probably end up doing risers. I like the intake, the intake's pretty sick. I'm being spoiled today because uh, I'm gonna have to jump onto my Rebel afterwards. It's not gonna be fun. I love this color too. So this is a very positive uh, shift. Again, very comfortable. So now, this, is, this has bags and stuff like that. I'm not a bagger, I do not like bags. But I do understand the functionality of it, so therefore I'm not really going to hate on that. If I ended up getting this, the majority of the day I wouldn't have the bags on the back. You know, at least you have the bags at home, right? Bags typically cost, I think, three grand around there. So at that point, you're you're already at that price. So go on, son. So I do have to tippy toe on the, the when the the things are a little sideways, but see that's a sick bike too. That's so sick. I'll be honest though, I do like the position of this. It is a bigger bike than I'm used to, but uh, uh, it's, it doesn't feel heavy. It's, it's a weird thing. The signal lights on these are kind of weird. They feel a little weird on me. love the power on this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh. Okay, so there is a gear selector. I just didn't see it last time. So there's a gear selector up at the front, up at the top, right beside the uh, uh, this speed. So. Now the rear brake is like non-existent <laughs> compared to the front. Slow speed's actually very comfortable. It's actually not that bad. I can see how people would have way too much fun with this type of bike. <laughs> so 
So as far as the uh, the fairing, so the difference between this one and the, uh, the the ST and the S, so the lowrider ST versus the lowrider S, is very very minimal, right? So the lowrider S has basically everything that this has, but instead of this, they have like an actual cluster, like RPM gauge, with this little thing in the center, right? There's that, and then uh, they also have the fairing and the bags. Now I'll be honest. I don't feel anything as far as weight. Uh, I was told specifically that this one feels a lot heavier than the Lowrider S. Uh, I don't really feel that. Again, I normally ride bikes that are 500 pounds, right? So having this being so comfortable to ride is actually very, very nice. Like the power is there. It's just there. If you want to go anywhere, you just Hold the throttle a little bit and it's good. It's not a sport bike, but you know, at the end of the day, it's pretty sick. Kind of wish we could go a little bit quicker, <laughs> but uh, I get it. Uh, again, uh, I thought that this uh, little screen would be hard to read. Uh, very easy to read actually. I'm surprised by that. Now it is in miles per hour. Um, I'm wondering if you can change that, but you probably can. Let's see. Uh, that's the range. That's the time. RPM. So that's kind of cool. Uh, that's trip A, trip B. Uh, range. No, okay, so I guess it is what it is. I absolutely love the power on this thing. That is so comfortable. Now they're planted, right? So it feels very, very, very planted. It's not nimble, but it's more nimble than I thought it would be, if that makes sense. JJ, what are you doing to me, man? <laughs> Why do you let me ride this? It's so easy to actually pull on this. Like, it's so easy. I enjoy this. And the seat's very comfortable. It has like a little ridge on the back. That way you don't fall off. It's weird how this back brake doesn't feel like it does much. I guess it's enough to drag it, right? I don't mind the shift. I don't mind the position. It's a very comfortable position. The fairing, I'm I'm in love with. Now, we're not doing much. Like, we're, what, doing 50, 50 miles an hour, right? The fairing does work quite well. I'm not getting a lot of wind around me. Now, there's no buffeting. Normally, there's buffeting around the fairing. Uh, they did a lot of uh, research, I guess, on this fairing. I was watching the, the information on that, and they literally spent a lot of time on this fairing. Wind tunnels and all kinds of stuff, right? So that's nice to see because it's actually a fairing that works yeah you get it like nice air like uh the slips and stuff like that in there it does actually give you a little bit of air like it's not like a parachute in front of you that it like takes up all the the air and stuff like that so yeah, i could see you just sitting on this and just chewing mileage right like it'd be very comfortable like me going to work like i do a 200 kilometer a day trip uh this would be very comfortable to do and like i said like it's it's not bad for um like maneuvering right now it's it's not a 400 or 500 pound bike but i think it's close to seven i'll uh, i'll put that information up there now i thought that the fairing would be in the way as far as vision it really isn't yeah see like if a truck drives by you the freaking bike doesn't even move <laughs> this is awesome i'm uh i'm enjoying myself on this i love this color too this is a really, really nice color. <laughs> I let them go a little bit so I could pull on it a little bit. And that was like half throttle. <laughs> this is so nice. You barely twist the wrist and all of a sudden the thing's like, all right, we're awake. We're awake, let's go. <laughs> my knees are at a 90 degree and it's a very comfortable position i'm slightly leaned forward 
I kind of like that part of it, like that's more of like a sporty kind of feel to it. I love the sound of this. Like you barely put the throttle down and it uh, it has like this nice rumble to it. I wish you could take it out for a little bit and actually have some fun with it. All right, let's see. If I touch the cruise, okay, so yeah, cruise control, you hit that cruise control, that's that little light there. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, you can put the cruise control on the Lowrider S as well. Like the ST has it stock, um, but you, unfortunately you do have to get uh, a flash to the dealer which kind of sucks but Anyways, this is not really a, like a like a specs kind of thing. This is just my kind of first kind of review. This is technically my second Harley I've ever been on. Uh, the first one was the Heritage Classic with a 114. This has the 117, and this is this is a beast, man. I absolutely love this thing. I don't know if I like the uh, the signals here, but you know, I kind of I kind of get it. That's the that's just uh, Harley. Neutral is actually very positive. The kickstand is uh, pretty nice. Wow. And let's kill it down. That's pretty sick. So I absolutely love that. I absolutely love that. Yeah, I absolutely love that. If you like this channel, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Until next time, guys.